kiddos. Um, today is a writing day, and this is one of your last days to um, find and generate ideas. So today is finding and growing seed ideas. And again, like I said, we're going to start our memoir next week. So today we're still kind of exploring how we find stories and seed ideas. So this is finding and growing seed ideas. So what can you do? And this is what we're doing today. You're going to look back at what you've written, reread entries, and mark the parts that light sparks or stand out. Again, you're going to go through your entries and kind of read them again. Reread entries that you marked, looking for connections or patterns between them. And I'll show you what I mean in a moment. And don't stop with the first theme you find. If you're looking for a theme, look for other issues or themes that underlie several entries. Again, you're going to read several entries to find a theme or something like a recurring subject that keeps happening. And then after you do that, choose one theme or issue and then reread the entries related to it. Um, and then today, you're going to plan and write an entry that combines thoughts and stories related to this theme and issue. So you're going to do some writing today on a theme that you've chosen. You're going to look back at your entries, kind of mark them up, and figure out if there's a theme that's developing in them. And I'm going to show you what... Um, what I mean. I'm going to go to my writer's notebook. Then I have to go to it. Let's see. So this is my writer's notebook. And of course, it's loading. Um, and I looked at what I've been doing the past um, several weeks. Um, and I, I wrote about one about crying um when i didn't when i when i didn't like to cry and so i reread it and i said huh let me kind of look and i saw maybe a, a word that said emotion so i i put a arrow there and i kept learning and then i had judgmental of others um, and again, if you want to reread these entries, you're you're more than welcome to. I'm not going to go through and reread them all for you, but you're welcome to. Um, I just kind of went through and was trying to figure out if something was coming up to me. So this one was the first times. Um, remember, I listed a couple of my first times, but um, I chose by my own house. And as I was reading through, I see frightened. I see the word scared. Um, I see facing my fears. And again, I took some time. I really went through these and tried to figure out um, what things kept occurring. And then this was the one we did last week. We did the essay one. And I wasn't sure if I would have anything in this one, but I kept reading and I did see like after three months it was mine. So maybe facing my fears. So again, I looked through them all, the entries that I had. Um, I read and I was looking for some either kind of theme or um, words and the word fear and facing fears just kept coming out to me. Um, and so I decided to come up with a theme. Now I was kind of scared um, to write about this, um, but we do want you to go deep. We do want you to think about things because if you're writing a memoir, it's going to be something that impacts you either negatively, positively, sad, happy. Um, and, and, and what kept coming for me was facing fears and, and flaws and, and uh, worries. Um, so I came up with a theme and we talked about theme yesterday, how it could be a sentence. And my theme came, everyone has fears and flaws, but by facing our fears, we can overcome them and come out 
stronger. So that was the theme that I came up with, and we would like you to do the same. You're going to have a, a page in your notebook, and you're going to write a theme. Take your time, um, and you're going to date the page, and then you're going to write about the theme. And we are going to grade this. You'll have today, and you'll have tomorrow, and I will attach a rubric. Um, but we want you to write about a theme that keeps coming up. So I wrote for you, um, and like I said, I was a little bit, scared because this is something that really has affected my life um and because it's made such an impact i thought it was important to write about so this is um my entry um and again i could make it better i could uh add to it but um here's mine so again the theme is everyone has fears and flaws but by facing your fears we can overcome them and come out stronger I have many fears. Sometimes I think I'm afraid of everything. The biggest fear that I have had in my life was getting a divorce. It's something I never wanted or imagined in my whole life. I was worried about my kids who were adults at that time. I was worried about supporting myself on one income. I worried about leaving a house that I love so much. I worried about changing my name. I worried about what people would think. I These fears, and worries kept me paralyzed for years. I didn't think I was strong enough to go through it, but I also could not picture my life being so unhappy. I did not have a lot of freedoms in my home. I knew I would not be a good mother or teacher if I was unhappy all the time. My daughter, who was so supportive, kept saying, you got this, mom, you are stronger than you think. With the help of her and my son and numerous friends and family, I got the support I needed. It was rough, I was sad, and I kept questioning my decision, but I did not let my fears get the best of me. I got through the worst part and I moved on. A breakthrough for me was when I was able to buy my own home. I felt strong and independent and powerful. You did not need to have a partner to be happy and successful. My kids asked me now, if I have any regrets, and I can say I do not. My ex-husband is happy and found a person who fits his personality, and he is getting remarried this summer. As for me, I was able to spend as much time as I want visiting my children and grandchildren. I get to spend as much time as I want working on my schoolwork. My ex hated that I work so much, and I found a supportive boyfriend. I also found myself. I could be me again. So. Sometimes in life, it is best to face your fears. You are strong and you are worth it. So that's what I um, wrote. Um, so today you are going to do the same. You're going to go through your um, writer's notebook, look through entries, Try to find a, a, a word or a theme, and then in a new page, you're going to write the theme, and then you're going to write about it. Again, try to go as deep as you're comfortable, and I picked something painful, but it, for me, I felt better writing about it, because I did feel strong as I finished it. Um, and we will be grading this. It will be 10 points, but we will, I will be looking at these on Friday. So, you know what we say, and you know, if you have any questions, I'm here, Mrs. Ray is always here, off you go.